one leg, one kick. You see how I pulled down? I leave one arm free. If he tries to throw, you've got a mat stroke. You see, nobody should ever throw you. You see where my arm is? Always in the crotch. Pull down here, you get a good tie. See this one man? Nobody will ever should throw you. If they throw you, they're gonna land on the back. I don't want you to try to throw me because it might hurt the butt. But anyway, some other stuff. We'll teach you on the single leg. So let's say you get a single leg up here. If you can't, you can't take it down. You try it, you try it. You make a fist here. This is not really legal, guys. But you can do it, right? It's called a club down. With the fist, you boom. You see what I'm saying? You can club them down, dog. I used to do that in college. But you can get away in, in high school, too. But you got to do it fast and slick. Make your fist like that. You're trying, you're trying, you're trying to make it move. Boom. See what I'm saying? Club them down. Make your fist, boom. You hit it right here, across here. Now, another thing I'm sure you'll know, get the sleeve and label thing. All right. Of course, I got the head on the inside. Now, if you throw the head on the outside, you can drag it, right? Drag around, right? Now, I'm going to show you how to get out. What I used to do in college, now lift my leg up, come up with it. Okay, right here. Watch what I do. I'm sure y'all know this. See, I got my foot here. Boop. See, I'm out. That's a single. Do you, you know that one? Yeah. That was good. Right on me. Now, put this foot here. When you turn, you push off my leg and you shoot down there. See what I mean? It works. Now, everything y'all do, do on the left side, the opposite side, screws everybody up. I know your mind's on girls, you see class and all that, but when you tie it, you got on the right, shoot switches to the left. You know what I mean? Don't go, if you, when you're down, start on the left side. Everything you do on the opposite side, don't screw everybody up. Another thing is when you start down on the left side, all right, get on the other side. Teach you another good move on the bottom. Look at the power you See, I start on the left side. It's good. Now, you know the fat man's roll, right? Pull the arm and leg. Now, I'm going to show you a cross wrist roll. Nobody should ever hold jump down here. Cross wrist roll is the opposite of the fat man's roll. You grab here, and all I do is help. You're out. Get one or two. Right? Don't know the Gazzoni. Tony Gazzoni was my dad's roommate. Two-time NCAA champion. He used to do the weight, he used to do the Gazzoni. So he gets on me. You sit up. Even if you don't have it, you got the rest, poof, you make it happen. You see? see what I mean? You got it. Now, over here, you get caught here going around. I used to put my leg here. Believe it or not, you can fall with that. That's the Tony Gazzoni. You weren't supposed to drink, smoke, or chew tobacco. He did all three. My dad said. You hear me? He did, he did all three. Wait, now I'm going to show you something. That's on the left side. Now, who can the crab ride? I'm sure y'all are good leg riders, right? Now, do you teach him how to break the crab? Oh, yeah. You do? But you're going to teach us something right now. now. They can go straight over, right? That, that don't work. Look at the slick one. Two feet over here. See, I grab the ankle. I push down on the knee. I pop out. Boop. Now I got him on his back. <laughs> you see what I mean? That's how you get out of the crab line. Do it again. Put me in the crab again. Do it this way. Now, I mean, it's hard to get a hook on me and get a half an ounce. All right. Come up here. I don't care what side. You got to pop your two feet here. You pull up on that thing, push down with the knee. You see? I got him on his back arm. I turn it on him. He ain't got me to crap no more. Now put the crossbody on me. I know there's a lot to take in. It's a lot real quick. So I'm gonna just teach you a couple things. Put it. Yeah. Okay, he got the crossbody on me. If you're having trouble getting out, right? You can't get out of this. Y'all are the best leg riders in the world. You know what we call that? Loafing. <laughs> but guess what? You get riding time in college. So, now, I, when I used to, of course, he got it tight like you're supposed to. So you want to get that loose. But boy, I used to somehow, I made my own move up. I would get that ankle, just come around. I don't know how I did it, but do 
good, yeah. But I think I'd go to my movie college. I even have it on one of my college tapes. And uh, I used to get to cross by here. I used to kill them. You see, there it is. There it is. You see what I mean? You come around. Little party can cross right on you and ride you all day. Can't come out of that. All right, get down. Man, get a partner. Let them do it on you. I'm getting too old. I'm cross by you. Okay. All right, now, hip up over here. You know, okay, because you've got to reach back. I think you hit the wrong way. Yeah. Yes. Yes, you got me out. Nobody's going to know that one. What else y'all doing? What else are you doing? Yeah. You said, uh, Fireman's yeah. carriage, duck unders. Duck unders, yeah. Fireman's is one. I couldn't cross this road. You know, let me show you that. So the fat man, my, my uh, friend Johnny Selma beat Andre Metzger with this move. He reversed it. Three times to beat Andre Metzger with that movie. Wow. But uh, uh, Metzger couldn't hold it. Do it again. See, I did that instead of the fireman. It's called cross first roll, man. You see? It comes right off. It comes right off. You don't get one or two every time. I do the club. Club or two. Can't take him down with a single leg. Ball of fist. Yes. My goodness, you did a foot sweep also. You see that? <laughs> 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 it's pretty good. Really good. It's one of, oh, my Uncle Bud, let me tell y'all. Hey, he used to, uh, of course, he did drink Coke and sweets, nothing. Went to bed at 10 o'clock. He used to run cross country in off season because he used to get his wind up. So he would outdo everybody here. He said, Sam, these guys might be the same as good as me, but I was so better shaped than them. I would outlast them. I would out, you know, outlast them. So you gotta get in good shape. So you can outlast your opponent. You better shape your opponent, you're gonna beat him, because you're better shape. Don't be scared to run around your house, scared to run around your house and back from the high school, do all this extra stuff you can. It's the extra stuff that makes, you know, that's what makes champion, the extra stuff like that. But all right, let me see a high price. You know, it's a high price. Let me see how you're doing that. Yeah, that's good. Come back here. Shoot, shoot, let me shoot. Shoot a whole high price series over here. Let me see, I like the joke. Yeah, finish it too. Let me see. Oh, nice, nice. Oh, very nice. Very nice. How do you see this one? That's very good. You see, you sweep your hips out too. It's very good. That's very good. Out. Good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. That's very good. Now, one thing I learned, you know, it's hard to remember all this stuff. But, what you need to know, it's just your wrestler, right? I don't care what you do. You shoot in, right? I don't care whatever he does. You go from where you're at. You understand? It don't have to be a perfect move. You get what you got, you use that, and you try to finish it. You know what I mean? So basically, you just shoot in. Whatever you get, you will go after that. You see what I mean? I don't care you wrestle. Oh, I got this one. Well, I'm going to work this one. You know what I mean? People are scared to shoot sometimes. You just shoot in and whatever you get, that's where you go from that. When you're a good wrestler, you know what I mean? But uh, what else y'all like to know? No, what you have trouble doing today? I just started. Uh, oh, you just started? <laughs> it's like his second day. Is it really? It's a lot to take in. But you guys got a lot of experience. I can tell, I'm watching him. He said you're going to the Citadel. I wrestled in college against some beautiful girl marching. See the ocean back there? Yeah. Or else it's really nice there. Yeah, I've been there. Beautiful place. All right, some other stuff. Okay, the, the up. The shoot up. Yeah, shoot my leg. That one's good. I love the arm break series. You see, you got to push the head on the outside. See that? Now, from here, you can do it with the arm drag. And you just throw the seat. Arm drag around. Get up here. Who's your partner? All right, you get the same leg. Throw the head on the outside. Arm drag right around. Yes. See what I mean? You guys can use that all day. Because they're going to get in on you. Boom, pump the head out immediately. They got to be quick as a cat. You already seen a cat fight in the alley. <laughs> That's how you got to be. You got to be quick. Y'all guys are young. This is your prime. It's going to be the quickest ever in your life. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. I'm not that quick anymore, but I used to be. Quick, won a lot of matches. But uh, I wish we were going. 
here. I don't see what kind of tilt y'all do. Voluntary tilt. Uh, what y'all do? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I like that. That's nice. I do the ball and chase field. You know that one? Yeah. Yes. It's good one too. Bravo, bravo. Also, for a guy shoot you know this play, right? Yeah. You should, should switch everybody. Take care of the leg. Boom, start switching them. They got a single leg, but don't wait. You guys are good up here. Way better than we were down south. But y'all know all that good stuff. But if you keep training hard and working hard at it, you know, you got your name, you'll be up on this wall, like Uncle Bunny, my dad. He would have won four times. He didn't have a weight class when he was a freshman, he told me. He would have won four times today, told me in the hospital. And then he would have for Indiana and only lost like three matches in college. He was, what, 34 and 3. And then he was a two time runner up in the Olympics. And the second time, he tied the guy. And they like flipped the coin. I said, You did what? Flipped the coin for USA. Yeah. Yeah, and I had a silver medalist on my team at LSU, Joey Tia, from, uh, he was from Pennsylvania, Pittsburgh area. And him and his brother wrestled with me at LSU. Well, he trained him one day with me, 1984. He's in the Olympics. I watch him on TV, he gets a silver medal. He's like a national hero, Joey Tia. And so, for uh, Syria, he's the one who motivated me. Since I'm Greek, and Greeks have, you gotta wrestle for your country, you gotta wrestle for Greece. Don't try out for USA, try out for Greece, that's why I went and did that because Joey Tia told me from this area. But uh, what else y'all doing? Do the leg thing again. You think you can get, you think you can have a word? I think I invented that cross body. I think I invented that move. Brian, you see the move? I'm telling you I invented this. I ain't seen nobody else do that. Put a cross body on Let me tell you who was the best leg rider. Right. Call me hot. That's why I wanted him to come. Boy, he, he'll hold you forever now, and you can't get out. Well, you gotta do something. Yes, yes. You think it'll work? I think it'll work. You gotta try it in practice when you make mistakes here. If you make a mistake in practice, don't hurt you. Do it here first, over and over. Do everything from the left side. I know it's hard to learn every move on the left side and the right. It's better if you're left handed, but if you're not, you gotta keep practicing left, right, left, right. Left side's the best. What else? Let me see another one. Give me my leg up in a single. I can't take it down. You can see, I just hit my chin and my shoulder under his chin. And right here, I just bust up. It breaks it. You see the leg? Got my shoulder under his chin. And do this, all this. I'm going to check your chin up. Boom, boom. You're out. Simple little things. I like this one. So y'all knew this one already. Y'all knew this one right. You can kick out. Y'all knew that one. You knew that. Oh, you see it's a blessing. You guys know all this stuff. <laughs> Did y'all know the crab break? Break the crab run? Yeah. Cross wrist roll. You do that? I think Donnie Vincent was doing that up at Cornell. Oh, yeah, he was. Do y'all do slayers? I don't teach it, but we, we, we know how to do it. He doesn't, really? he does it more often than anyone. Get in there and let me show you just how to switch. Don't do this play with you. Hit a single leg on him. Now, you can start switching this guy. It's like this play, though, but hit the switch. Okay. Well, he's good at it. Well, he got it right away. Very good. Even if you can't get it, you can still switch him. And then you got him on the cradle or something. Thank you, guys. You're good. I'm going to have to watch him. Fireman's gear. Let me see how you'll do with fireman's gear. That's a good move. A lot of people don't use it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let me tell you about my buddy Tommy Hot. So we're down there, a 134-pounder was All-American, 126-pounder was All-American, 118-pounder was All-American, everybody's placed. So Tommy Hopper, he's on the B team, he's a freshman, you know, go to Southern Open, which is Southern Scuffle now, Penn State goes every year. We won it two years in a row, we won the Virginia Duels two years in a row, St. Louis Open two years in a row. Anyway, Tommy Hopper's there with John Smith, and he's, first he beats a national champion, now he's a B teamer, beats a national champion from North Carolina in the first round. Right. Nobody can believe that. Now he makes it all the way to the semifinals. He's up against John Smith. Well, he, he lost by one point. He almost beat John Smith. He used to ride the legs in practice. 
so bad on this All American 126, they got and say, What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? Get up and start punching it. Will you quit riding the legs on me? I can't even get I can't do nothing. He said, Well, get the hell out there. Try to get out. God couldn't get out. Tommy Hart, I wanted to come show y'all. I don't know what the hell he used to do, but he could really ride the legs on me, people. He could ride it on All Americans. They couldn't get out. Second in nation, this guy was. He'd get up and try to punch him. Quit doing that. He said, well, get your ass out here. Get out. <laughs> Couldn't get out. Couldn't get out of the legs. He'd punch him. I said, but uh, me and Tom used to go. I called him one time. Don't y'all do this. Throw it up. I took him out, feet the burgers and stuff. He told me, wait a minute now. I got to go around the building. So I went around there. You know, see what he was doing. He was throwing up because we had a big tournament the next day. I said, don't ever do that ever again. We'll go running at midnight. We'll go run that weight off. He'd go around the building and throw up, stick his finger in. I said, you just throw up all those good cheeseburgers and all that ice cream up on there, and I bought them all. And really? He said, damn, I gotta make weight. I said, oh, no, don't do that anymore. You need to, you need to race that off the park of the video. <laughs> <laughs> but you knew, huh? Get down and let me show you the fat man's bro. Get a big guy. Come over here. Did you really see those fat man's bro? You don't know it. Well, you need to learn it because you could kill people with it. You're a big boy. All right? Yeah, you're down, he's a referee position. Or what you do, okay? You're gonna grab this wrist, right? When I pull it in, and when you roll up, you throw it with the leg on. Roll the one. Pull it in. Pull it in. Well, wrong way. You're gonna pull the other side. Other side? Yes, so pull that way. Pull that way. Yes. Okay. So you start the other side, that's smart. Pull it in. Pull. Roll this way. That way. Yes. There you go. Pull it up. Tight. Yes. Yes. Big man like you kill guys like that. Yeah. Yes. Ten. Ten. Do it again. Grab the rest. Now throw your arm and leg this time. Boom. It helps you throw them up. Yes. Go that way this time. Yes. Uh, he switched it up on it. We got right and left on it. <laughs> hey, that's really good. Do it again. See that? You get the feel of it? Yeah. It works. You wrestle these big guys, and they get tired. You just get the fat thing to roll on. Did it? Yes. Now you're on top of him. Ten and him. It's good. It's very good. Show him the cross wrist roll. Mike, do that. Send the fat man. Grab the. I'm showing him with the boxing hand. If you just like to grab the wrist, now he gets the same bag. Look, sit down and throw this way. Yes. See how he popped off you? Yeah, it's good. It'll work every time. It'll work every time. That's awesome, you guys.